So, we've got everyone working on the front of the car right now. We are about to uh, drop the whole front end, all the suspension, the subframe, everything. Hunter's getting the last few bolts on the shocks. And then we'll see, uh, see how this goes. We've got the front subframe all the way out now. And all the boys are working on getting out the rear subframe as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much got this whole car torn apart in like two hours. Oh. Oh. Is it coming? There you go. With Quentin's old subframe in the new car all cleaned, I'm going to now go ahead and I am going to be cutting the radiator support. We are going to be making a removable core support. We've got these lines marked out right here. I'm going to be cutting just inside of these holes. We'll be able to tilt the radiator a bit forward cut out a little bit of that. Uh, this sort of bottom brace will cut part of this out and then we'll make uh, a single plate of steel and we'll tack that in. We will be able to repaint all of this because it is a single stage paint. It's kind of nothing to worry about here. down a little bit lower uh, towards the bottom of the radiator and because I want to lean the radiator forward and do sort of a v-mount ish setup with this car I needed to cut a little bit of the top right here and then I cut this out and notched it so that I could actually lean it forward and lean it so that there's a little bit of a flap under this and so when I weld it it should be super strong which will be really really good I do have to cut a little bit more metal out before the radiator will fit how we want it to, but I'm going to get that done, and then we'll show you guys what's up. So I'm going to give some, uh, some more love taps here and see how she goes. Awesome. That's fantastical. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Come look at this from the top though. That's how it is. Yeah, like right about stock. there. And now, scooter on like that. Now, we do have to modify the bottom mounts right here. These guys will have to drill them out a little bit so that it can lean forward because uh, right now we have to lift it up to do that. but. Once we drill these out a little more, it'll just lean nice and forward, like, should be good. I'm excited. We're going to get this guy welded up. Yeet! Alright, so I've got the bottom part uh cut and then tilted forward and then I've got a, a big old long weld along here and I've actually welded the seam right here and tacked it together here so it should be about as solid as it is stock if not a little bit more uh, it definitely feels a you know she sounds a bit more solid than she was earlier so I'll take that as a uh, being enough. I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I love the smell of paint fumes. These ones will kill you. And chlorine. But you hate the smell of gas. Yeah, uh, fucking oh, weirdo. honestly, no, 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 that's not, that's not how that went. That's not how that conversation went. I said I hate the smell of premium gas. See, that's weird. Premium gas just smells bad. It, it smells, it smells super, it smells just it smells very... Super. It, it, yeah, it smells super, and I don't like that. I like the smell of regular gas. What's up? So, we are going ahead and we're putting the suspension in the new 240 shell. And uh, 
We did get some new hardware for the camber plates. Uh, I only got six of these because I'm a dumbass. Uh, I'll go back tomorrow and I'll get the other two and just swap them out. It won't be a big deal. I do have to get new bolts for the uh, where the coilover connects to the knuckle because these are tightened with lug nuts. So I gotta go get the bolts for that. We're gonna try to plug this bad boy in right now. We got the other side in already. Uh, it was a super pain in the ass. It was really heavy. It's a very heavy single chunk of metal and all we got is me and Coos. Honestly, so. I might go to the gym tonight just because of how heavy that was. So Jonas and I just spent like 20 minutes trying to fit this angle kit like on here and together and whatnot. This angle kit has a lot of, it's got like on the inside here, you could probably see better. It's got like these washers in between the heim joint and the inside of the subframe. And those were a pain to get in and they sucked a lot. But it's in there now and hopefully we won't have to deal with it for a very long time. Hopefully, that was awful. That was not fun. That's so tight. So now... Yeah. Both of them are on. Dude, that's so baller. Here you go! Got brake line stuff now. Uh, I'm gonna leave the tie rods disconnected for the time being because I want to get some new boots for the power steering rack. Uh, I kind of think this power steering rack is on its way out. But, uh, lucky thing now, we got two of them. So, I'm gonna use this one until it dies. Because we got it here. I went ahead and installed the GK Tech sway bar. Looks real good. I've cleaned everything up and uh, yeah, starting to feel pretty good about it. This is good. This has been a good day. It's pretty decent. Finish the top of the coilovers. So, um, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Unfortunately, the hardware for the top of these coilovers is subpar, but I am so freaking broke right now, I literally can't afford hardware for this. Uh, so this is what we have to use. Use this stuff. Sometimes you gotta chuck it in the fuck it bucket. For real, man. <laughs> this pains me a little bit, but... I, I was trying to buy some new studs and bolts at the hardware store, and then it was gonna be like 25 bucks, and I was like, you talking big money, bitch. Mm -hmm. Hey, but we got six of the freaking... <laughs> six of the freaking bolts for the camera plate. <laughs> Bing. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start figuring out how I want to make this, uh, this removable front cross member. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to take this piece right here, cut it in half and slide it in on either side of the radiator. I'll weld that up nice on either side. It fits even, looks good. And then down here, I've got this bent, sort of a horseshoe shaped piece that I want to maybe lay over. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is cut that bigger piece uh, in half and then we'll tack it on there and, and see how she looks. So I've got this measured out. So this guy is ready to be marked up. Something like that. Try the other side now. It was cool to watch you well through the eye of the camera. That looks really good. But dude. that's like, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of this. This is, this is like, hey, look at over here. This, one. this is some, this is like some actual fabrication stuff. Dude, blacksmith level 10. I got like my <laughs> learner's permit. Maybe. <laughs> and you can tack weld and make things look mediocre. Here we go. We got a couple tacks on each side, and we know that the between the two, 
it's level. So I'm pretty happy with that. You did a really good job. Thanks, man. Proud of you, buddy. 2K19, show the homie some love. So, a little bit of an update. Uh, it's been about a day, and I've done a little bit of work here. I've got some nuts that I actually welded into the front of this, uh, this core support. So I'll be able to screw in to the front of it, the plate that will hold on the radiator. And uh, so getting this big motor in and out of the car will be super easy. I also went ahead and I got a new piece of metal and I cut it to fit in place of the core support. So that bad boy will go like that. And as you can see right there, I've got those little marks and I'm gonna drill those out now and then I'm gonna see if, uh, see if she fits. Because if she fits, she ships. Uh, right now that I've got those holes cut in there, I'll set this guy on top. Pull these guys out real quick. Okay, camera died while I was filming that last clip, but look at that. The radiator fits so good. And I've got this guy tightened down. It's just like, oh, I'm so happy with this. It looks really nice. I do want to make some end caps and I also need to make little uh, brackets to hold onto the radiator because that bad boy is free to do whatever it would like and I don't want that to be uh, the case. So, we've still got a little bit more work to do, but things are looking good. I'm excited. Alright, so I've got the little, uh, little tabs for the top of the radiator right now. One is right here, I've got the other in my hand, and I'm going to put these guys on, and then I'm going to hold the radiator back, and I'm going to tack each of these just once and then I'll pull the whole front support bar out and then uh, and then I'll tack or I'll weld the rest of them and we'll kind of round them off make them look nice and then we can uh, we can start looking at priming and painting pretty psyched pretty psyched this is gonna suck mildly Alright guys, here it is. This is uh, more or less the final product. <sighs> I'm really happy with this. It's cool. Everything fits real good. Okay. <laughs> Get in the hole. Get in the hole. There you go. There you go, Skeeter. Good screw. Radiator leans forward nice. We got all that space back there now. That's that's just that's just a good gig. Look at that. Leans way forward. Removable core support makes engine removal easy. Damn. I'm so pumped. It's getting pretty late, so I'm gonna head inside. Sounds like tomorrow we're gonna have a little bit of a painting party. So uh Looks like we'll be able to prep and paint the uh, the core support. Sam Squanch is here. He's painting the core support. So it's going to be black. Metallic black. Fancy black. <laughs>
Well, this is an engine bay, so, you know, the quality is engine bay quality. What that means is we didn't sand much or prep much. It's just kind of keeping rust off of it and make it look as good as we can for a reasonable amount of effort. This thing's not looking half bad. There's a metallic fleck that you can never see. Alright, so last night, the holy Dominic did all the paint on this. It looks nice and pretty. It's on the course board and up here and all that jazz. Yep. Dad paint matched everything last night. So the engine bay is back to looking super spick and span. And I think that it looks super good. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. So these little notches right here, uh, if I ever want to, I can use them as an extra mounting point. Like I could uh, drill through here and add a, a nut in here. And then we could make a bracket that like hangs down and holds the intercooler or something like that. We're not totally sure if we'll ever use it, but it's there if we need it. Which is cool. So yeah, she's uh she's all done though. I guess we should uh do you want to chuck the radiator in there? We'll show them that first before we uh before we wrap this bad boy up. And then Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. And you got a radiator. Yep. In the way of your engine getting put in. Hell yeah! I'm excited about it. It looks good. Sick Happy dude. days. Radical. What are you? Uh, what are we commenting about today, Schwab? I don't know. Uh, shit. Uh, what is the best shop vac? Want to know, dude? I want to back him. Terrible. It's a terrible question. Oh, do you put me on the spot like that, man? Are you oh, get man. shit. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. And how does that make you feel, Coos? Um, you know, man, wait, what? How does what make me feel? I'm sorry, what was the question? 